it's Ian from The Useless Crafter. Today is going to be a quick tutorial. I'm just going to go over the new changes that came with the new update with Cricut. So if you're in your landing page, what you can do is you can always go to the three bars up here and you can click on what's new to see what changed. So let's look at what's in 6.6 you have project collections. So this is really cool because you can have, um, like I, it's their folders. They're calling them project collections, but for instance, for me, I would have one for Pringles cans, one for the mug press, one for um, my daughter, one for her being a room mom, so that all my projects are now more, um, I can find them more easily. Now what's kind of sucky though, is if you don't have access, you can only have five project collections. If you have access where it's the paid membership, it's unlimited. So um, I, of course, I do have it because I found in the past when I let it lapse one time and when I went to go do things, I really didn't think I used access that much because I don't love the fonts. Um, and a lot of my images, I like to do the offset. So before, prior to this update, I couldn't do an offset with their images. So um, I let it lapse, but then I went in to do it and I found that I used <laughs> my access a lot more than I thought. Plus I buy a lot of stuff. I wait for it to go on sale and then I want the additional discounts. So that's why I like access. Now with the offset, I mean, it makes way more sense to get the access membership. But anyway, um, so let me show you how to get to the collections. The other thing that I wanna talk about is the offset. So that's gonna be in the project I'm gonna show you. So I'm gonna click done, get out of here. So where you go to see your collections is under my projects. You can click on view all. And I started to make a few folders just so that I made sure I knew how to do it before I wanted to show you. So here is mine, right? So I have some companies that I work with, right? So 12 by 12 cardstock, Creative Fabrica, um, I'm a room parent, so here's all the stuff. I just started today, because you know the update just happened. Uh, my mug press, and then my off the mat. So now I can find it, whereas a, before it was just a hot mess of all my projects, and then I made multiple changes, um, all that good stuff. Um, okay, so this is how you would do it. You can click on new over here. So I'm gonna do one for, I always do, I'm gonna do graduation caps. Oh man, hold on. Give me just one second. Okay, I have to switch keyboards for a second. Okay, so if I do graduation caps, create. So it's now one of my collections. So you can organize here. You can click on this one and then um, go to next and you can put in your collection. So I believe you can do multiple. So let's see, hit the shift key. Yeah, so you see how they're turning green? I'm hitting the shift key as I'm clicking on them and then go to next. Let's say you wanted to drop all of that into one folder, you can. So awesome way to find your projects. Um, again, not as awesome if you're limited to five. <laughs> all right, so let's get out of here. Um, let's go into a new project. Now, one of the updates that they did say that was coming but was not part of this update is the kerning. So let me go to text and show you what that is. Um, just because we're here and it's going to be a short one. So one of my favorite fonts is Hanaberry Koo. Oops, it would help if I spelled it correctly. It's a lovely font from Creative Fabrica because it's whimsy and it looks delicate, but it's not delicate. So it's easy to cut, easy to weed, and I love it. <laughs> so here's the word hello. Sometime next month, when you type this, it will actually all be connected. But I'm gonna use this real quick and show you what the offset looks like. So if you ungroup it, so first, with the kerning until it comes, I mean, you've gotta just move this and make it look good. So I'm gonna move mine. I really like my bounce lettering, so I like everything up and down a little bit more than maybe some people. So let's just say you like that. You want to make sure that you weld it, because if you don't weld it, 
wherever the H ends, it's gonna cut that inside the E. So while it looks like it's connected, you're still gonna have each letter individually cut out. So you don't want that, you definitely want to weld it. Okay, but offset. So now once you click on this, and you have to be on a computer, you can't be on the phone to do this. Um, you click on the word and you go to offset, and this is very similar to the Silhouette software because I was using Silhouette just to do my offset or Inkscape. So what you wanna do is you have two options. You can make it more rounded or you can have a more um, angular offset. So right now it's on the rounded. You can see it here. We can make it bigger, right? So you can see that. So once you click on it and you click apply, then it's, then it's stable. You have that one offset and you can see it here. So here's the offset, here's the lettering. You can, we can change the color just to make it look a little bit uh, more obvious. So here's your offset. Why is it not doing it? Um, interesting, okay. Well, let's click on this. Hold on, let's grab both of these. And let's do another offset. So we're gonna click on it and you can see the next layer comes on and we'll apply it. Okay, so now see how it kind of has all that? So let's move this out of the way for a second. Huh, I don't understand why this is showing like this. That's really weird to me. Anyway, on this one, I always, you know, I like to go to contour. I don't like those cutouts. Um, I find that it looks better you could just click hide all and it will hide all of that. So now it's gonna look like this. So let's make this a different color. And so there's your offset, perfect, right? Let's do one with an image just so that you can see. And then I'm gonna do one with the more angular, more sharp edges. So let's do this egg. So I'm gonna insert the image This is gonna make your cake toppers, um, I don't know, everything is gonna look so much better with an offset. I'm gonna do a more detailed one with offsets though, because when you're combining certain features, think of like a cake topper for instance, and you have, you know, Charlotte, age five, and then you have like, I don't know, a Ferris wheel, princesses, castles, whatever. You want to weld all those pieces together so that you have a gigantic offset. So that's gonna be a separate one. I just wanna introduce the features in this tutorial. All right, so here's this egg. You wanna to go to offset and apply. So here's the first, I feel like that this one was just a glitch because like this one came colored. Let's see if we can change it to a different color. Yeah, okay. So you see you have that. Let's grab both of these and do another offset. And there it is, and you just apply. And you can make it bigger. And actually, you know what? Let's look at this really quickly. Because for the 3D letters, you want an internal offset, right? Oh, and you can do it here, look. So you can make, well right now it's doing the bigger one, so it's hard to see that internal offset. But so you can go smaller, you can go inside the image and then you can do that offset, which is like the bigger offset on the outside. Okay, so we've got this. Let's look at the word hello again, okay? But this time when we do our offset, we're gonna do the more angular look. Um, so you can kind of see it a little bit here. This is probably not a good example to show you the angular pieces. Um, let me think, oh, I know. Let me do one of my 3D letters because you'll see it a little bit better there. So let's view all. Um, let's do this letter L, okay. So these are the 3D cardstock letters. Um, I love them. Let's move it to a cleaner space. So let's ungroup it, ungroup this. I'm gonna get rid of, oops, let's ungroup that. Okay. 
these little things in case you're wondering why I'm deleting them. These are just indicators. So it's this square with matches with this square so that you know it lines up here. And then this next long piece will go here. So it just gives you direction. But anyway, we don't need that for our offset. Okay, so let's look at this offset. Um, let's first do the rounded edge that we're used to seeing. So you see how right here in the corners they're rounded. Let's look at this one and let's do the offset and do the more sharp edges. And you can see the difference between the sharp edge and the rounded edge. So you have both options, which is so cool. I mean, it's so easy. I can't believe it took this long to get me. Um, all right, so we have those two things. Um, oh, is there anything else I want to show you? I feel as if no, because this will get us started. And then we're just going to start using the offsets in our regular tutorials. So, all right, let me know what you think. Oh, the other controversial thing is originally when they made the announcements, they were limiting non-access members to just 20 uploads a month, which I mean, it just depends on what kind of crafter you are, right? That could have a huge impact if you were designing and you're checking your designs and you're uploading it to make sure that it is the way you want it to be. Um, or if you're a, you know, if you're a seller, right? Like a party decor person, you're, I'm uploading a lot of images per party. So, um, that would get definitely get in the way but enough people complained so they're going to grandfather everyone in so anyone who already has a device that's registered will continue for the lifetime um, of their account to have unlimited uploads if you are brand new to cricut after 2021 i believe is when they're starting it um at the end of the year so i guess maybe 2022 let's say um then you are limited to just 20 uploads per month assuming you don't buy the access membership so that was a big up to but if you're watching my video i'm assuming you've already have a registered machine so you're good even if you need to replace that one you get new ones as long as your account has already been opened and you have a registered machine right now you will be set for life even if it breaks down and you have to get a new one all right <laughs> okay let me know what you think i will see you around bye